welcome or welcome back to this channel my name is crazy for those who didn't know and if you are new here please do not leave without subscribing liking commenting and sharing with your loved ones so in today's video we are going to be talking about my course which is become economics and econometrics i'll be basically sharing information that i that i think is crucial before you actually do this course before you actually consider doing this course okay most of you guys know that i go to uj so the information that i will be sharing will be more related to the uj course that i'm doing i don't know if that makes sense but yeah let us get straight into the video i wrote um everything down i wrote um the important points down so do not mind when you see me looking down or like trying to think because you know this big head has a lot going on <laughs> i'm kidding you guys but yeah i wrote everything down so that i do not forget the important points so you're probably asking yourself what is the difference between economics and econometrics okay so let me break it down to you right now real quick real fast so economics is basically a social science that focuses on the production distribution and consumption of goods and services it also analyzes the choices that individuals government and businesses make to allocate resources that is the best definition i can give to you and then econometrics is the application of the statistical methods of economic data in order to give empirical content on economic relationships so these are the jobs that you can do when you complete your become economics and econometrics degree i'm gonna write them somewhere on the screen you can be an economist obviously you can be a financial analyst quantitative analyst data analyst um you can be a risk manager you can be a consultant you can be um what else a business person the list goes on so at uj um there's an extended degree which is four years long and then there's a normal one which is three years long we are now going to break down the requirements for the both of them and see which one best suits you with the extended degree i'm just gonna read the requirements for you guys so if you're doing pure maths you need 25 minimum aps and if you're doing um maths literacy you need 25 minimum aps okay and you need a 50 percent for english it doesn't matter whether it's um home language or first additional language it has to be 50 percent and above um you need 40 percent if you're doing math pure math and you need um 70 percent um if you're doing math literacy which is crazy for me but we're not there and unfortunately technical math is not a set and then with the normal degree i'm also going to read the requirements for you guys so you need 25 minimum aps if you're doing pure math you need 50 percent for English, you need 40% for pure math. Math literacy and technical math are not accepted for the normal degree. Let me repeat that. Okay, Lily. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to Math literacy and technical math are not accepted for the normal degree. Right? So if you want to do, become economics and econometrics and you're doing math literacy, then you have to apply for the extended degree but if you are doing technical maths then unfortunately you cannot apply for this degree you're not going to be accepted so we are now getting to the modules that you do for the extended degree for the foundation year you see that fourth year that they add that one so we're now doing the modules that we're now going to talk about the modules that you're going to do when you choose to do the extended degree right so mina um um i'm doing the normal degree right so i didn't do these modules so i'm just gonna read them out for you guys and yeah i do not have information about them with you but if you if you are interested in knowing more then you can just 
comment down below and throw your question and i'll be more than glad to actually like seek information about it and reply to your comment right okay so the first one is mastering of economic and professional skills that is the first one it's a year module and then there's language for the economic sciences <clears throat> it's also a year module there's basic mathematics and applications in economics and business that is a semester module and then there's another one uh, the economic and business environment right and then there's financial recording analysis and management those are the five modules that you do on the foundation year of the extended degree so when you've completed your foundation year of your extended degree you go on to do first year's module of the normal degree i don't know if that makes sense but yeah so let us go on and discuss the modules that you do on your first year of your normal degree okay so you do maths commercial law 1a uh, economics 1a and you choose between accounting a and accounting 1a i do not know the difference between the two accounting is accounting for me and then you choose between business management or marketing management that is for your first year for your first semester okay and then for your second semester you continue to do maths you continue to do um economics one one b now and then uh, instead of commercial law you do financial management 1b and then you continue to do accounting a if you chose a or accounting 1a if you chose accounting 1a then it's going to be accounting 1b and accounting b and you do business management 1b or marketing management 1b i hope i hope this makes sense once you've completed your first year modules you go on to do your second year modules so i'm going to break them down for you guys so let's let's first start with the electives so you choose between business management quantitative economics consumer behavior and investment management so you choose to do one of the four modules okay and then the ones that i'm gonna list now are compulsory you have to do them so it's economics 2a which is macroeconomics economics 2c which is economic philosophy and not and economics 2f which is labor economics and econometrics 2a so you're gonna have a total of five modules for your first semester and for your second semester it's going to be your elective econometrics 2b economics 2b which is a microeconomics economics 2d which is analysis of economic data and economic indicators and economics 2e which is development economics and then you're going to be done with your second year modules so once you've completed your second year modules you move on to do your third year modules you have a total of eight modules to do for your final year so let's break them down again so you're going to do your elective right and then you are going to do econometrics 3a economics 3a which is international trade and finance economics 3c which is financial economics that is for your first semester and then on to the next semester the final semester the second semester the final one final one you do your elective econometrics 3b economics 3b which is international international monetary economics and then you do economics 3 D, which is public economics so once you've done that then you've completed you've completed your degree you you've obtained man congratulations <laughs> another thing that i think is important to know is that if you want to do your postgraduate in econometrics then you have to choose quantitative economics as your elective so i wanted to share with you guys that 
if you failed one module okay let's say for example in your first year you fail maths right then you can't like maths blocks econometrics okay so if you fail maths then you can't do econometrics so you have to first complete maths in order for you to do econometrics so yeah i think that is important to know another thing that i feel like i need to touch on is that uh economics is a combination of theory maths and graphs so if you are not good or if you are not like interested in maths theory and graphs then this course is not for you if you're going to do your first year next year or the next couple of years coming then i think this is very important to know over to you you need to attend your lectures you need to attend your lectures you need to attend your tutorials you need to consult about your work with your lecturers and your tutors because guys if you do not do those things like i can't sugarcoat it i can't you know that's that we've come to the end of this video i hope this was very informative and can assist anyone out there if you have more questions do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section i'll be more than glad to answer each and every one of you and thank you for watching until the end please do not leave without subscribing liking commenting and sharing with your friends from me crazy your star love